Hello fellow model railroaders, this is Adam over at Cruise Rail Lines. Thank you for joining me for another workbench video. Today I will be working on decaling three Princess Cruise Lines Denali Express Colorado rail cars. I had purchased the original Bachman set number 715, which was a three car set, as well as the updated set number 765, a two car set, which you can watch in one of my previous unboxing videos along with an eBay purchase of one of the original sets cars and three standalone cars from Bachman, two of which were already included in the new updated set 765. This gives me a total of nine Princess Cruise Lines Denali Express passenger cars, three of which I now have the same name and same number. I will need to purchase one more to get a full roster of the 10 Princess Cruise Lines cars, but that also means I'll have to decal that one as well. So for right now, let me reposition the camera and we'll show you what I plan on doing. So I was lucky enough that Circus City Decals has the Princess Denali passenger car decals. It's a lot of decals in one sentence, isn't it? The only problem is that I'm running into, and if I can, you're not going to be able to see this on film, but I'll show us a close-up image of this shot. The MSEX, ha ha ha, everyone get your laugh out now. The numbers that they have available are for all 10 passenger cars, but they only have two of them. And if I show this image of the Pioneer, you can see that there is two on this one side alone. I've already removed the existing name and number just using a little bit of elbow grease, specifically out rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip, and just rubbing it until the numbers came off as it's just the screen print. But with this having two numbers on one side, and only having two numbers available for each car on a decal sheet, I won't be able to decal both sides with the numbers. But we'll get into that as we go along. I will be using Microsol and Microset. I do not know if I'll be using the Salva set. I have it here just in case. I have Q-tips, rubbing alcohol. I have my lukewarm water sitting above a candle to keep it warm because it's actually very cold in my basement right now. And a sponge, and I'll show you why I do that differently than just letting the decal soak in the water. I can set it on the sponge and it doesn't destroy the adhesive backing on the decal. I have the three princess cars ready to be decaled. Straight edge, two different straight edges I should say. Very sharp razor. I do have extra razors here with me as well. Pencil which I'm only going to use to mark off my list over here as I finish them so I don't double them up even though I can't really double them up because there's only one name or two names available for each car. And tweezers. And of course cutting mat large and a small one here. So if I look at my list, which I'm going to superimpose the image here, there's the 10 names and the 10 car numbers for the full Princess Cruise Lines Denali Express set. So I originally had two of the Susitna, number 7085, two of Sanford, number 7086, and two of Pioneer, number 7089. So for now, what I'm thinking I may end up doing is 7081, the Rangel, Rang, Rangel, however that's pronounced. I'm probably butchering it a little bit. Denali and Four Raker. So 7081, 7082, 7083. So like I said, I will still need to get one more standalone Princess Cruise Lines Denali Express car from the interwebs that I'll have to also remove the number and remove the name and decal with the St. Elias number 7080. So I'm actually going to cut out the three names and numbers that I want. So there's Rangel, Denali, Four Raker for the ends of the car, the door ends. So I'm going to line up my straight edge and cut out what I need to cut out, which again since I'm doing three and I'm going to skip St. Elias, actually I could do St. Elias now. Let me think on that. I'll be right back. So just to save on time, I've already went through and 
cut all of the names I needed, even though you probably can't read those because it's white on very light blue. So I'm going to show you at least how to do one side of these. I have my warm water and a sponge. Now I dip the decal I'm going to work with in the warm water and set it on the sponge. The longer it sits in the water, the more the adhesive dissolves. Setting it on the sponge allows it to release from the paper without having it float off the paper. And it gives me a better option of actually grabbing it off the sponge and being able to put it on the model. Now, this princess car is going to be the Saint Elias. What I'm going to work on first is the number over here, which I need, which is 7080. This little tiny sheet right here. Again, picking it up with tweezers is going to suck, but... I'll just stick it to my finger. So I am right side up. I'm just going to stick it in the water and then set it on the sponge. Give it a few seconds. Now with Microsol and Microset, Microsol is part, or oops, I was about to do that backwards. Microset is step one. So I'm going to use a micro applicator. Take a bit of the micro, micro set and put it where I want on the model. Using the wooden skewer, I'm able to tell that my decal is already sliding. I'm going to take the decal, which is very tiny here, and slide it off into little bit of micro set that I set on and then I'll be able to take my see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see that while this is still wet I'm going to line up my number that seems to be right about where I want it I'm going to take a Q-tip, dry, and just lightly tap that down in place, trying not to move it, even though I just did. And I'll just let that dry in place. this out of my way. Slide the whole car over and we can do the name and a number on the other side. And I'm grabbing my St. Elias. Now what I did with this one you probably can't really tell there but I took the blade and cut it right after the name. So it'll give me something to hold on to the paper when I go to stick it on the model. I'm actually going to bend it the opposite way. Stick it in water, set it on my sponge. While that's sitting there. Don't need a lot of micro set in place. It will spread once I go to put it. It does dry quite quickly, but it'll spread once I add a little bit of water from my decal, which isn't quite ready yet. So I'll grab the number because that's going to go on quick, really quick.
Now using Pioneer as an example, I'm also noticing these names are a little bit smaller, but I'm okay with that. That's about right where it needs to be. zoom in and see that. Now I try to get the number. There we go, one side is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sides of the other two done and then we'll work on the door ends, at least one of them for now. So I'm actually working in my lap with the cars leaning up against the desk because I need to get the two decals into this position underneath the end stripe on either side of the door using the Pioneer as an example of where I need to place it. But I will put that one back aside. And again, it's the same thing. This is the St. Elias. I'm trying not to damage my decals I already have on the sides. They are dry. I'm going to pick up a St. Elias, dip it in my water, set it on a sponge, and try to do both of these at the same time. I already have the other two car sides done. Take my micro set. It's probably way too much on there, but I'll soak it up with a Q-tip in a minute. This one's already sliding off. So I'm trying to grab the paper, but not the decal. So I usually slide the decal off just a tiny bit. So that gives me a spot that I can grab and slide it right into place. But again, you don't have to watch me do this. We'll be right back. Now that all of the decals are on, minus the numbers for the second side. I'm going to go ahead and let these dry overnight and tomorrow I will be back with hitting them with microset to completely set them in place. The ends especially need it because some of these overlap, not, not that end I should say, but that end it overlaps the rivet detail on either side of the door. So I really want to make sure those are set in place and dry before I hit them with microset. So I'll be back in a few minutes, but to me, it'll be tomorrow. So it's now been about 12 or 14 hours. The decals are completely dry. Now I just want to go through with microsol, which is step two of the decal process. And just dab a little bit on each one just to let it soften up the decal and kind of make it hide it from everything else. And after that I will go through and tape off sections for of the windows and I'll just do a complete doll coat down all the sides and the door ends. But you don't need a lot of microsol. just to help make sure it's completely stuck down, conforms to any irregularities in the paint. 
I'm just using a clean applicator. That should dry in a second and I'll flip them over and do the other side. So another thing I had done that I didn't do any videos on, the original set was not lighted where the newer set and the individual cars by themselves all had Bachman's lighting package already installed. So I'm going to show some pictures here. I, I end up custom designing LED strips matching the lighting package on the newer cars to fit in the older cars as well as custom casting a clear resin light diffuser. So this is the point that my lapel mic decided to go on vacation and left me with no audio. But I turned around and taped off all of the upper windows, the side windows, taped off the trucks and the lower section because I just want to dull coat the center section to protect the decals. I also taped off the side openings for the steps to protect the back side of the end windows. So let's go ahead and move over to the spray booth here. So I'll be using Tester's dull coat and Tester's gloss coat. I have a very tiny bit of gloss coat left and I usually mix it to where it doesn't look as frosted once it dries. And using lacquer thinner, I do have gloves, glasses, and a face mask on. And the f as soon as I turned on the fan, we couldn't hear anything I was saying in the audio as it was. So here I'm using lacquer thinner, the dull coat, and the last little bit of gloss coat that I have left. Mixing it right inside of my airbrush canister. And I'm just going to do a few light coats over each side of the cars just to protect the decals and blend in what it, anything that's left of the shiny clear layer. Okay, here we are with the cars all done. I'm trying to show in the camera that you can just barely see the outline of the decal. But I'm going to go ahead and let these set up for a few hours and I will pull the tape and get one last shot of them finished on the workbench. Here we are with the three I just finished decaling and I still need to get the numbers for the other sides but that can be done at a later date and I'm going to show you all nine that I currently have in order from St. Elias, Ragnell, Denali, Iliama, Susitna, Sanford, Hunter, Blackburn, and Pioneer. 